here we are again with retractable landing gear, day number two. Well, we did number one, didn't we, when we were... Uh, no, I don't know if we didn't record it. Yeah, we did. Not yesterday. Oh, That's yes, when we had yes, all yes, that did. lot on the bench. Yes, we did. There you go. That's You're day number one. one. Yesterday was just a test day. <laughs> yesterday was a dry run. So this kit's been rescued off a Honda Goldwing. The task at the moment is we sort of bench tested it and managed to find out that it was uh, that it was all working, that we could get it working. And the task right now is because Mike wants a sports stroke Tora bike, he doesn't want a Goldwing, he wouldn't be seen dead on a Goldwing. So what we're trying to do is is literally slim this kit down and get all the angles right and get the mountings right so it can fit on this GX, GSX-1250 and um, the plan is to obviously as you can see from the video Mike's got a prosthetic leg and this is to build his confidence so he can go back to riding a solo bike as opposed to a trike. constructing some mountings. I'm, I'm going to be using the bulk of the, the mountings that are there but I'm constructing some mountings out of 30mm by 25mm box and that will then be joined. If you look on the frame you can see that I've already put some 10mm plate onto the frame and the box section will come off those the 10mm plate and hopefully we should be able to retain the rear foot pegs and the front foot pegs and um, there'll be a brace across the middle there's there's also a balance bar which will have to go across the middle which um, just makes sure that both rams stay balanced so that you don't get a situation where one ram deploys a bit before the other and causes the rig to become unstable So what I'm moving on to now is trimming down the whole of this assembly which obviously was built for a Honda Goldwing and weight and bulk was not an issue because the bike is so heavy and bulky anyway. But um, what we're trying to do is, is basically tear it right back to, to a skeleton. We're putting smaller wheels on, um, we're like I say putting box section in to replace a lot of that heavy steel that they've used um, in the plate work and I'm now going to just trim off all the excess bits that I don't need. All we really are looking to achieve is a pair of stabilizers for want of a better word. We have a hydraulic pump a 12 volt hydraulic pump which will be situated in the pannier on the bike and we also have um, obviously hydraulic rams and this this will all be deployed in such a way as it as the legs will go down and lock into position and then they won't go back up again until the rams actually deploy in reverse it's two-way rams the rams will deploy in reverse and pull them back from the locking position and then back up and, and into a raised position where the bike will be able to ride on two wheels as a normal motorcycle. That's the plan.
what I'm doing now is moving on to the lathe. Got a little bit of lathe work to do, just trimming down the axles, a few other bits and pieces. Safety. These uh, kits were originally fitted with quite an elaborate sort of a mudguard spoiler type of thing, just, just like you would get on uh, an aeroplane, on an aeroplane's wheels. But um, that's not the plan for us. Like I said, we're, we're trying to keep it, we want to keep it very functional. Um, and the space that was taken up on the axles to house all this fairing and, and uh, mudguard type assembly that was on it, um, what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm just basically cutting the axle back trimming it right the way back, um, trimming it, uh, turning it down all the way down so that the wheel will fit a lot closer to the axle and uh, then tapping a new 18mm thread on the end of it to uh, hold the wheel on. Should really have cut a chunk out here. This this is basically me. Um, one of the index tip tips snapped straight off as soon as I put it into the workpiece. So I was changing the tip. Um, what I've just been doing now is just straightening it, just getting it straight in the lathe before I start. So originally the plan was to turn these units upside down, um, which obviously again, because it was designed for a gold wing, ground clearance wasn't a big issue, whereas for a sports bike, ground clearance is everything. So we were going to turn the units upside down and have the rams at the top, but when we actually tried it, we realised that the locking system was designed to work in the down position, not the up position. So when we reversed them, we had the whole thing the wrong way around. So this, what I'm doing at the moment with cutting the slots, I actually had to backtrack and go over it again. And um, I, I've changed it all around again. And this time I've put the rams at an angle, which keeps them up off the road.
what I'm doing here is cutting slots for the um, levers to stick through, for the clevis levers to stick through, so that they can actually retract and and um, deploy correctly with the with the clevises going through the the slot in the five mil plate. the new slots cut I've got to weld up the old slots so what I'm doing is just using the piece that I cut out and welding it back in in the slot that's redundant What I've got to do now is reposition the clevis on the other side from where it was originally. I've actually cut the axle off as well and um, obviously needed to get it back to just a, uh, a bar so that I could put it in the lathe and turn it down. So I've put all that back together now. Now I've just got to weld the clevis back on in the appropriate position. working on the kit as well which hopefully should see it um, in a position where it can retract and deploy and uh, we'll be able to test it out so keep an eye on that um, subscribe to the channel click on the bell for notifications and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up you know the drill thank you very much